again. I'm Old Sneelock. I'm up on top of a ladder in the pantry. I need to change out this. I need to change out this old circline fluorescent fixture. Uh, the bulbs went bad on it. Before I spend the money on buying bulbs that are rapidly becoming obsolete because of silly policies from the government, I'm going to change out the fixture. And we're going to install in incandescent bulbs just for the hell of it. But the first step that I need to do is to remove the fixture from the ceiling. I went and turned off the switch in the basement, disconnected the breaker so that there's no power in the fixture. Always want to do that very first thing. Be careful when you take this thing down because this can come loose and fall on your head. Don't leave it hang on the wires. I see people who pull the wires down and say, well, those are dead, that's okay, I can leave the wires hang on it. But in an old fixture like this, those wires are sometimes fragile and you can break them off. Or if nothing else, you can strip the insulation off and cause a short. So, as you take the fixture down, be sure to hold it up in the air, disconnect the wires before you bring it down. Now I need to take the fixture out of the packaging. Move the packaging over out of the way and strip off the ends of the wires. Everything I can do towards making this job easier when I get up in the air is just to benefit all the way around. There's two light sockets. There's the washer, pack of bolts, and the replacement tube. This is the one off the old one, this is the one off the new one. I'm going to use the one off the new one because it's the right length. If I needed to, I could use the one off the old one, but the new one should come with a, all the mounting hardware that you need. You always want to test for power. One of the ways that I do that is to use this ideal volt sensor. In the presence of electricity, it chirps. No electricity, no chirp. And just to show you that I'm not working with a live circuit, I'm going to check the wires before I put the connectors on. Dead. Put the bracket up there. I'm going to start the first couple of threads by hand.
before you use the power tool. Because otherwise, there's a good chance you'll strip the thread. screw. bought this light is because the base of the light is big enough to cover up the base of the old light. So I don't have to repaint the ceiling. secure against the ceiling. Now you can run this nut up in here or this stud up in there. Some of the real old old houses where they had gas lamps they ran all the gas in 8 inch pipe and when they switched over to electric they use the mountings and fittings for the gas lamps to hang the lights on. And that's held over. They're still using an 8th inch pipe to mount the electrical lights up. Now, I don't know if you necessarily need it, but it does work. Fully functional. Okay, now I've got to put a couple of bulbs in and test it. When I went to the cabinet to get the light bulbs, what did I find with those crappy screw-in fluorescent fixtures? It's supposed to be a direct replacement for incandescent bulbs. And I just don't like them. I think they're foolish. I think they're a waste of resources. They cost a ton more to build. They don't last any longer, and the light is horrible. They heat up. If you put them in a fixture like this, they're going to burn out the ballast because it's held inside of a shade. Well, we have one side that works. I'll bet it's a bad bulb. At least I hope it is. I'd hate to have it be a bad fixture after I just put it in. Yep, 25 watt bulb, no good. Got to do a run to the store. After a run to the hardware store, local hardware store, not the big box store, the local hardware store. I always like to support local stores because you know, the other guys that live in my town pay my taxes. And when you want something, you can walk in, talk to somebody who knows exactly what they're doing, and walk out with what you need. Go to the big box store, 
if you're lucky, you're going to get somebody who actually understands what you're asking them. And chances are, they're going to have one of what you need, but it's going to be the wrong shape, size, or color. Unless it's a common thing, they'll have paint. They'll have carpet. Going to try and buy a light bulb? I'm sorry, we only have these. Now, speaking of light bulbs, I had to buy 60 watt light bulbs because that's what this fixture takes. You don't want to go much more than 60 because it's going to overheat inside the fixture. But can I buy a 60 watt light bulb? No, because see, these are more energy efficient. This is a 60 watt that only uses 43 watts. It gives me 620 lumens because it's a modified spectrum general purpose halogen bulb. Now they cost me $6.99. Yeah, that's $6.99 for four bulbs. Kind of salty, but not to worry. It tells me I'm going to save $5.18 over a year's time. Problem is, this thing has a 0.9 year life cycle. So over a year's time, I'm gonna save $5.18 but I'm not going to make a year, I'm going to have to buy them again, so the next bulb has to save me $5.18. I'm in the hole 14 bucks, and I've gotten back $10.36. Kind of stupid, don't you think? But by God, they're going to save me from myself because Lord knows I'm not smart enough or capable enough to do these kind of things on my own. I couldn't say, hey, let's save some energy. Let's just shut the freaking light off when we're not using it. How's that for a deal? Nope. They have to legislate the whole thing. Put thousands of people out of work. And kill the business for everybody around the little factory that used to make the light bulbs. But don't worry. These are made in Hungary. Hungary's doing great. 93 million people out of work in the United States. 93 million people. And I'm forced to give money to Hungary to buy bulbs that I don't want and pay more than I want to pay. Because if I want to get a light bulb, that's where I have to get it. Success. Lights changed. I'm going to have to get up there and wipe off that mark on the ceiling. Evidently, something hit the ceiling at one time or another. But, fixtures changed. Fairly simple job. Really, just four screws to take it out and a bolt, and then four screws to put it back in again. Thanks for watching.